Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word and the Daily Prophetic Word for Saturday the 24th of August 2019 is a harsh word. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Before I start, I received this prophetic word in a download yesterday afternoon. And also I know some people will come against me. I have to bring it forth. It is a harsh word but maybe a necessary word in the time of complacency and people saying they do not have to do any righteous deeds at all. So listen to this prophetic word very carefully. Let us start. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that none of you who reject the plight of my little ones my children will enter the kingdom. If you make your heart like a stone and refuses to help my little ones, then I will have no mercy on your ways and your families. Verily, verily, I say unto you, do not become like the rich man who had Lazarus sitting at his gate, but refused to give him anything from his table. When the time comes, will I guide my children and Lazarus into heaven. But you, foolish generation, will be thrown into the lake of fire. There will be no redemption for anybody who rejects the suffering of my children on earth and who will place his riches over my creation. There is still time to correct your ways and to support the poor children that I guide to you through my servants. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that none of you who rejects the plight of my little ones will ever enter the kingdom. And this was the daily prophetic word for Saturday the 24th of August 2019. It is, it is a harsh word. And many people because out of their complacency, will reject it. But it is also a dire warning, a warning given by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we have to look out for the children. And wherever see, we see sufferings or violence or anything, then we should come forth and help. He is calling us into the nation to have a look for the little ones, for the children. And if you have a chance to support anything that will help these little ones and these children, the children of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then you should come forth and assist and support. Do not remain complacent. Do not remain seated on whatever you have. Your riches will not bring you into heaven. Your money will not bring you into heaven. But your righteous deeds will because the righteous deeds of the saints are the white robes that you need to come into the rapture, like in the multitude clothed in white, at the sixth seal, or even as a bride clothed in white. We all need to have this garment cleaned through the blood of our Lamb, Jesus Christ. And how do you do that? How do you get these white garments? to the righteous deeds. And what is a righteous deeds? To support anybody who has at his heart the children in this world. So please, step forward. Come out of your complacency and support all the ministry who have the children at heart, including ours. Watch also our video today about Lazarus. That's another important story that we have to learn. And not just say, oh, everything is done, everything is finished, and we have nothing to do. That is not true. We always have to open our heart for the plight of other people, that nothing will happen to them, especially to the little ones. And for this purpose, I will still again put our call for the Jesus and the Children Week 
in the first pin comment. Please follow that call and support our mission. Make your donation to help the plight of the children. Listen to it and also take the challenge of a pure heart to see how far you are away from being a too early Christian. Just do it and you will see it will open up your eyes. Thank you that you come for the messages, for the daily prophetic words. And even this one is a harsh one. We, we all still love you. We know that you come for us and you know that you come to support us and help us in our ways. The Lord will open your heart. The Holy Spirit will open your heart. He will change your mind. He will open your heart that you come for us and support. In Jesus' name I pray. I hope I will see you again for the next prophetic word. And have a blessed day. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Please consider the plight of the children. And I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.